guys welcome back to our channel so today i'm going to uh, be sharing my interview experience uh, at oxford university when i was applying for my master's degree in radiation biology so i'm going just to just give you the general idea or the general experience and then i'll be specific on the subject or on the course so keep watching before going further don't forget to support us just like share and subscribe thank you so let us start i remember i received an email from them that you're going to be having an interview on this date so i had some days to prepare myself in the email i received from the university before the interview they told me the names of the people who will be in the interview and what they do or their roles in the course so I was aware of them and I knew what they do. I was so nervous, you know, I was so nervous and I was a little bit scared because sometimes I feel like I can't speak so properly when I'm in the interviews. I, 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 I mean, I think I just get so nervous that I forget <laughs> most of the things I've understood. So if I don't become comfortable and I just gain all my confidence, it's really hard for me to perform so, I mean, to perform really good. I remember they asked me so many questions and I remember I answered all of their questions yeah I answered all of them but that doesn't mean that whatever I answered was right you know understand the difference they asked so many questions and I remember I answered every question they asked but that doesn't mean that whatever I answered was right <laughs> you, understand? you understand what I mean yeah so so how was it? Initially, I was very nervous and I was very scared, I think. I would say that as is. I wasn't feeling that I, I know something in my head. I couldn't think that maybe I can say anything that could make sense to them, you understand? The good thing is that they started with simple questions. I remember the first questions uh, they asked. One of them was like, okay, tell us about the how they fixed those strand breaks and I did biology so that was like oh my god is that what they asked <laughs> so I started giving them answers right away and that made me think comfortable and then they asked me why the course and then I, I, I explained to them so what would be my general advice to students who are applying I would say that you should have basic answers on why you love that that course they are going to hear so many people uh say same reasons why they like that course and why that university so try to really sit down and understand who you are and understand what you want to do in the future and then try to get something specific you understand that let me just give you an example when they asked me why i chose that course which course that's radiation biology as, as far as I remember, I told them that, I didn't tell them that, well, university is, uh, I mean, it's one of the best universities in the world, it's well known. They know that, you understand? They know that, it's so boring. So I didn't tell them that, but instead, I told them that, of course, a good university, but this course is very specific. You know, we have so many, you know, we have so many uh, cancer treatments. We have chemotherapy, we have radiotherapy, we have immu immunotherapy, we have surgeries. But the thing is that you can't focus on everything, you know. You focus on one thing and even on that one thing, you fail to understand everything. So I loved this course because it was really specific. It was, you know, focusing on radiotherapy, only radiotherapy. And I loved that. I loved that most. That attracted me so much. The other, the other general advice I can give you according to my experience is that be confident. Have confidence. And if they ask something that you know, don't get excited. Try to just, you know, just become the humans as you. <laughs> well, <laughs> now I have the confidence to tell you this, but I did <laughs> I didn't have the confidence to, to, to say that to somebody else before I did that interview. And I couldn't listen to anybody who said that to me before I did the interview. But now I have the confidence to say that. I wish you can do the same after I pass that interview. So let me just tell you, because I really want to tell you. The thing is that 
just be calm don't rush to just you know just give out your answer try to think about it and try to phrase your answer well just have confidence when you're answering these questions but don't don't be arrogant you understand what i mean just say it out but in a polite way you know and the other thing is that if you don't know something that's fine that's fine i remember they asked me they asked me the action of um the action of ionizing radiation hmm i know this i'm sorry but i don't know more than that i was clear what am i why am i saying this so they asked me a question and i knew little about it i told them the answer and then say yeah and yeah that's how much i know about that i don't know anything beyond that i was true to myself because i didn't know anything further beyond that you understand so if you don't know something it's fine it's fine just say what you think and you say that yeah try some you can even tell them i'm not so sure but i think oh i have an idea just say your idea out that's what i think you shouldn't just keep quiet even if you have a small idea if you have a small idea say it out and let them know that that's how much you understand and the good thing is that when they ask something like they asked me the, um, I, the action of ionizing radiation that's the, i mean that's what the course focuses on so if i don't know that's really fine because i'm going to study about it that's what the course is going to teach me mainly then the other thing is they have taught this course for a long time and they've been in the field of academia for a long time so if you're a student who has just finished your undergraduate i believe i might be wrong but i believe that you want to know more than them in that field you understand that you want to know more than them in that field which field i mean in the course i mean the course you're applying you're applying for so don't say things that you don't know don't lie don't say things you don't even know that they do exist you get that just say what you know and if you don't know it's fine it's fine totally fine totally fine totally fine that's not the end of your life it's fine <laughs> yeah it doesn't mean that you should lie no don't lie just just to be yourself you know then the other advice i might give you is that when you are applying for a course if there is um there is a syllabus try to go through that syllabus and try to see some of the of the uh, lessons that are covered there or topics you know or modules that are covered and try to see if those modules really connect to what you studied in your undergraduate and then after try to have just the general understanding the general understanding the general understanding of the course the main things you know that they will focus on they will focus on in the course i think yeah you will not uh, fail to answer any question from that part the other thing i wanted to tell you is that if you have done research for your undergraduate try to make sure that you understand your research you get that because you're going to talk about your research in a personal statement right so try to make sure that you understand your research i'll give you an example i did i studied the, the link between uh, uh my 20 day limitations and inflammation so they asked me how we can determine the mutation rate in a model organism like a mouse you understand that so i didn't study the mutation rate i wasn't focusing on the mutation rate but i was studying about mutations and inflammation you understand this question is just peripheral to what i was doing you know in my research but i studied about it in one of my classes so what i want to tell you is that when you have started, attended some classes try to see the classes that link that link to your research and try to see how that knowledge can be applied in your research hmm what's another thing i can tell you let me think hmm. oh yeah i have remembered the other thing they asked was funding so if 
you haven't applied for any scholarships, even if you have applied, make sure that you have an answer. I mean, for how you're going to fund your, I mean, how you're going to fund your course. They are going to ask that because before even they, they, they give you a, they give you a scholarship, they will ask about it. I think it would be better for you to have you know that answer prepared. Just have a very good strategy, a very good plan of how you're going to fund your course in case you don't have a scholarship yet. Lastly, I would really recommend you to know your expectations from the course because they might ask you that, you know. They might ask you what, I mean, how do you imagine your life in Oxford and what do you expect to gain from there? You know, this is a very simple question, but you can just be uh, just beating around the bush instead of saying something straight and clear. So, <clears throat> so I think that it's really important for you to have a clear understanding of what you really want, what you really want from the course and how your plans are for the future and know your plans uh, after you graduate from your masters. Yeah. Overall, I didn't find the interview hard. Yeah, actually, I finished the interview when I was just laughing, you know, because I was like, they don't ask hard question. You understand? Or maybe I, I was just lucky that they asked things that I was aware of. You understand that? Yeah. So I just felt happy that, oh, wow, I'm so happy that they didn't ask things that I, did, I didn't know. They asked things I was aware of. So just have to prepare. So my advice uh, for you would be prepare as much as you can. You know, really broadly really broadly, if something's happening, try to link what you studied from this course to this, and then link your experience to this. Link, the, I mean, how uh, your, 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 um, your current studies or link your current experiences to the future or to your community. I remember they asked me, so Anne, you wanna focus on counsel treatment with a therapy, right? Yes. What do you think would be the best way to treat cancer? I was like, hmm, because I, I had read that, uh, of course, the therapy is important and so many people get the therapy as part of their treatment, you know, but it comes with side effects, you understand, and not so many people can afford this. So just can't say that this specific, this one, you can't say it's immunotherapy, you can't say that it's chemotherapy, you can't say that it's radiotherapy, because all these all all these all these types of treatments you know have their own benefits and um, their benefits and limitations so what I said was education yeah educating people why because it's actually better to prevent the disease than curing it if people have enough information about cancer if people are educated about their health then you can prevent the contraction of so many infections can prevent the contraction of so many diseases that can result that can result into inflammation and then we know that inflammation is linked to cancer so seriously you just have to have a wider understanding of something don't cram things but try to understand have a wider understanding of something try to understand the limitation of something and the advantage of something you understand that of course, I love radiotherapy. It's, it's a good treatment, you know, modality. And it's a, a very great way of treating cancer, you know. But don't just look at its advantages. Look at its disadvantages too. Then you will be in between and you understand better. So actually, it will be a better way of thinking about things because then you, in the future, you'll think about the best way of making it something better. I think that's all. In case I remember anything, of course I'll be telling you. And if you have any specific question regarding the interview, just put it in the comments below. So I'll be sending you the answers as soon as possible. Mm, should I promise? <laughs> Anyways, I'll try my best to send you the answers as soon as I finish there. I finish composing them. Yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. We really appreciate your support.
If you are new here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.